Hello folks, Link here from Finally Art Solutions. We've had some people ask us about installing fencing, vinyl fencing, on a retainment wall system. So this is a completed fence on a retainment system. You're gonna see we have a glued stack stone that runs post to post between the posts. So below that stack stone, we have a 12 inch wide footing. That's a footer strip that's 12 inches wide by eight inches thick. And it is below grade. You can see there's three rows that are exposed here. There's a fourth row below that. And then under that is that concrete strip footing. And then after the strip footing is excavated, below each post, there's a 12 inch diameter hole, four feet in the ground, all the way down four feet below that post. The strip footing is poured after it's formed. And then into each one of those 12 inch diameter holes, there's four rebar that are put down to the base of the hole and up through that strip footing. Then we go ahead and we install the posts and then with the uh, rebar extending up through the posts and then the stack stone is all glued in between the posts cut set and glued and then the fence is assembled and then we fill each post from the top with a cement slurry a fairly stiff cement slurry and that goes in to the posts around the bottom rails around the rebar that are coming up through that footing and this is your end result. Now, these posts don't even move. Like there's no, there's a little bit of movement in the section, of course, because it's a vinyl fence, it's typical. But the posts are so solid, it's unbelievable. So you'll see, you can hear hollow, hollow, hollow. So the cement comes up probably close to three and a half feet above the top of that concrete strip footing. You have a very solid system when it's completed. So we're about 16 inches above grade on this side of the fence and on the inside of the customer's yard, we're pretty much even with the grade to the top of that retainment system. Thanks, like and subscribe.